you wouldn't mind just like briefly take us through Kim, what your background was in terms of health and what your initial situation was symptoms wise and how it was affecting your life. Well, I've had different health issues and I did have food poisoning as like you did years ago. And that was probably, I'm going to say six years ago now, out of the blue, I ate some lettuce. It was bad. I was very like really sick. Probably should have went to a walk-in or the doctor. I didn't. And then after a few weeks or a month went by my stomach, I started getting all kinds of digestive issues and I did go to a gastro intestinal doctor and they helped me and diagnosed me through breath tests that I had SIBO. So I didn't have a clue what that was. And they gave me a list of foods that I should stick to for the symptoms. I did not realize that. And I just saw one of your videos actually, um, that the SIBO, you know, what following this FODMAP diet that the doctor gives you does not help get rid of anything. It's really the treatment. And so that doctor back then, I was able to work with him for only about four months and I was, I was improving. And then sadly he passed away. And then other doctors that I got in contact with didn't really follow through with the medication. I don't know why I was watching a lot of YouTube, trying to figure out what I can do to help myself. And, uh, I came upon you and I watched quite a few of your videos and then your YouTubes. And then after time went by, I couldn't get any results from anyone. So I reached out to you, but I had a lot of, I had to eat specific foods. I really was on the FODMAP diet, which I should not have been, I guess, for probably three years. And I suffered with SIBO for four total. And then I found you and then you went through all the supplements and, and I did do the one round of the antibiotic and all of my symptoms immediately started to subside when you and I started working together. And I have to say that right out of the gate, when you and I, when I connected with you, you had told me, you know, don't be eating sugar, you know, all these things that you told me from the get-go, sugar, alcohol, gluten, and dairy. Within days, I felt that improvement of the bloating, the gas, just doubled over with stomach aches all the time. It was like, I was afraid to go to a picnic. I was afraid to go to a dinner. Was there an onion in there? It was, it was very intense for me. And I did, I did live by the FODMAP, like I said, for probably four years. And now hindsight, a year, it's almost a year that you've cleared me up and I am like totally, obviously SIBO free, which took, I think we started in February and we work together till August, of course, and you're still there with any kind of text I might have or anything with a question and the answer, I love it. I can't tell you how great that made me feel to have one-on-one, -on -one, someone on the same page and with all your knowledge. But besides that, it has been just wonderful this past year. I'm kind of back to normal, totally eating, going out, not worrying. So that's kind of my story in a nutshell. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. I guess I'm um, backing up just to pre one before um, you were doing SIBO shortcut. You did low FODMAP for three years and you said you had SIBO for four. Was there anything else besides the low FODMAP that you had tried prior to us starting? And then what were your specific symptoms? That okay, were, sorry. Like, the most, the most trouble. No, you're, you're great. The most troublesome. The most troublesome was Honestly, I couldn't make a plan. I was invited to baby showers, bridal showers, weddings that you commit to go to these things. Mm -hmm. I was afraid to go even because I was so careful with my food, but I just never knew how I was going to feel. And it was from constipation to like diarrhea, doubled over literally with stomach aches. And that was one thing the doctor gave me something to help that, but not really ever help to get rid of it but to just help the symptoms. And it was the bloating, the gas. Once in a while I was nauseous and it was really the unpredictability of being able to just function in a normal daily life. That's how extreme it was for me. Yeah. All right, yeah, so some symptoms, but also it sounds like not sure what's gonna happen or how you're gonna feel it's affecting. And how I'm gonna fix, how was I going to fix it? You know? Yeah. 
I guess if I could ask you this too, because you were trying things for a few years, what was your mindset like right before you started doing SIBO shortcut? Like what were you skeptical about maybe, or like, did you, did you believe something would be able to help at this point? I did. Honestly, I had pure, total confidence in you. I just have to be honest, watching your videos, knowing that you went through it and that you started out with food poisoning, not that it has to be that, but we had a very similar situation. And honestly, also, I just didn't want to take a lot of antibiotics to get rid of it because I did have C. difficile years ago. And I, and the same gastroenterologist doctor helped me tremendously with that. That took about six, eight months to get rid of. And it was, I was kind of a trial for him, but then when he started to help me with the SIBO and then he passed away, anybody I met, we weren't on the same page, the doctors, they just wanted me to be on a lot of antibiotics, which I was very afraid to do. So working with you and the supplements and then using antibiotics also, if need be, you were, I didn't really have any skepticism. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I really had full confidence that we would work together. In terms of SIBO shortcut, like were there any particular parts of the program or like the structure of what we did that you felt most helpful? Yes. The first month we worked together, well, like I said, right out of the gate, you insisted, you told me, this is what I need you to do. I, I truly be true to this. Like you said, no alcohol, gluten, dairy, or sugar. I don't know if I'm missing something, <laughs> but immediately the, I, within 24 hours. And if people can do this and it's a little hard, but when you're so limited on food for so many years, you don't really give it a second thought. I felt physically so much better. I knew the SIBO wasn't gone. I knew I still had stomach issues, but do, following that was miraculous. That was huge for me. And then the first month we it's working out in the different supplements when I redid my breath test. And of course, purchasing all my own things that we could do these breath tests together was also huge and that you got immediate results. So for that, the diet and watching it even more that way, pulling those things out of my diet, out of the few things I could eat with the FODMAP, it made me physically feel so much better. And I have to say every month I just progressed and then I completely was SIBO free by August. And it, so it took baby steps to slowly get, which I knew that. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate that. After doing SIBO shortcut and everything's kind of healed. Now you mentioned previously you social life wise, you're worried you wouldn't be able to like go through dinners and stuff like that. What have you been able to gain back since kind of completing this? and getting your gut health and SIBO taken care of? Okay, so at the when I was cleared up in August, um, I still do certain things that we've talked about that are beneficial to me, the digestive enzymes and a few supplements. But one, we, I think it was like after I was clear, I stayed on some of these supplements for a while. Of course, you were right on top of that with, okay, now omit this and add that. So immediately I, I did do baby steps probably quicker than what you would have, you would have agreed with. Like I kind of jumped into eating cause I felt so good a little bit more, but now, I mean, months later, I just more because maybe I was a little afraid, but I did jump into things that I haven't been able to eat. The only thing is I know I reached out to you a couple of times, maybe an onion, which never agreed with me anyway, has nothing to do with the SIBO. And then maybe um, like, pea soup, you know, it's hard for me to digest. I can eat that a couple of days in a row, but maybe not more than that. And that's just normal. That's just my digestive, but you've boosted and healed and have supported it. And I think that's the main thing is that I really support and have improved because I've always had digestive issues and I do not at all anymore. And I really always have since I was a kid, but you really helped me just boost my system and do what I need to do to digest. You know, I hate to be partial, but you really are very special in this way. Seriously. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I mean, I could have tears in my eyes because when somebody goes through these kinds of things, as you know, and I think that was a benefit too, because you really know what it's like, um, that it means a lot.
it's special because not everybody does this. I so now I that. eat and do what I want. <laughs> and I'm having a ball. Oh, I love it. I yeah. appreciate you saying that. Thank you. What would you say to somebody who's maybe dealing with the same kind of stuff you're dealing with where it was SIBO and they're on the fence about if they want to start doing a program, something like SIBO shortcut. And then follow-up question to that. If you had to put an amount, what would you be willing to spend to have the results that you're having right now? Okay. First of all, I know a lot of people been doing hair for 45 years and I've talked to many people and they really want to go through their health insurance. Okay. Which I know the doctors, the gastroenterologists, you know, they will do that. And I tried that and it, nothing was helping me. So that's where I reached out to you. And to be truthful, it didn't really matter what it cost. It, my health was most important and I have not felt this good not just the four or five years I had SIBO, many years, like I said, with digestion. So um, it was worth everything to me, seriously. And I tell my clients that, you know, your health is most important and you want to feel good. So somehow put the money towards that and work with you, which I really thought was very reasonable for the amount of time. So it was worth it to me to spend what, it need, what I needed to do to have that connection and get healed than it was to go through my insurance and maybe have a $40 copay. I mean, to me, there's no question, but that's me and look how it worked out. I, I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. Seriously. Glad you're glad you're doing well. 